Kristen Sharp, and I am the President and CEO of the Oil Valley Chamber of Commerce. This is Thank you. Thank you. This is our chamber's 32nd year of our existence. And um, I'm just going to welcome you to the 32nd annual meeting and awards breakfast. Um, but then staff told me not to get your hopes up by saying 32nd. So I just wanted to make that clarification. We've been here for 32 years, this will not be 30 seconds. I apologize. So today we're here to celebrate outstanding businesses and members of our community to showcase the relentless efforts of these wonderful nonprofits and to recognize individuals who have volunteered countless hours in service of your chamber. But first, if you are able, please rise with me so that we may honor America by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Thank you. And as you sit, I'd like to ask to remain standing, please. Veterans, well, not everybody, not everybody. Active and retired military, as well as active and retired first responders, so that we can express our most sincere thanks. Now you can all sit down. There we go. On your table, you will find our event program. The QR code in the middle of your table also accesses the digital version of that program. And within the digital version, everything is linked back to the wonderful sponsors who have helped make today possible. So please make sure you click through. I hope you all enjoyed your delicious breakfast. Chef and waitstaff here at El Conquistador Tucson, a Hilton resort, never disappoint with the quality of their food and their service. So let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to get started by taking a moment to express my gratitude to the businesses who have sponsored this celebration and made it all possible. Our presenting sponsor, Pima Federal Credit Union. Our host, El Conquistador Tucson, a Hilton Resort. Our award sponsor, HSL Properties. And then I'll list out our champion sponsors, Acacia IT, Desert Hospitality Management, Golden Ranch Fire District, Hughes Federal Credit Union, KENG Construction, Southwest Heritage Bank, the University of Arizona Veterinary Medicine and Center for Innovation, and Tucson Media Partners. Thank you, champion sponsors. Our premier sponsors, Bayer, Better Business Bureau of Southern Arizona, Comcast, Kinghorn Law Financial, La Posada at Push Ridge, Northwest Healthcare, 1AZ Credit Union, Pima County One Stop, Splendido at Rancho Vistoso, Tohono Chul Gardens Gallery and Bistro, Tucson Electric Power, Tucson Federal Credit Union, Tucson Local Media, Visiting Angels, and Wasad Bank. Thank you, premier sponsors. We are also grateful to Boom Picks Media for taking pictures at this event, and to Anstar Productions Group and Regal Fierce Media for their videography. And another thank you to AZ Litho for printing the programs that are on your tables and also for this beautiful backdrop that they made for us. I'd also like to give a big shout out and thank you to AV Media for always going above and beyond for making sure our events run smoothly. We had 32 nonprofits here with us today to showcase all that they do for our wonderful community. The Alzheimer's Association of Southern Arizona, the Amphi Foundation, Anza Theater Public Schools, Arizona Heroes Memorial, Beata Home Healthcare, 
Big Brothers Big Sisters of Southern Arizona, Freedom Warriors, Gap Ministries, The Golden Goose Thrift Shop, Gospel Rescue Mission, the Greater Oral Valley Chamber of Commerce Foundation, Impact of Southern Arizona, Institute for Better Education, Interfaith Community Services, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, Life Beyond the Books, the Oral Valley Historical Society, PMHDC Southwest Medical Aid, Rescue Me Tucson, Rockin' for Heroes, San Miguel High School, Soul Dog Lodge, Teen Challenge of Arizona, TMC Hospice, TMM Family Services, Tohono Chul Gardens Gallery and Bistro, Therapeutic Ranch for Animals and Kids, Treasures for Teacher, Treasure, the, Treasure, I'm not from the East Coast, <laughs> Treasures for Teachers, the Tucson Jewish Museum and Holocaust Center, Tucson Values Teachers, the Western National Parks Association, and La Posada at Push Ridge. Thank you, nonprofit. <laughs> Running a nonprofit is not easy, and your heart truly has to be in it. So hopefully you all visited board booths and made some wonderful connections while you learned about their missions. We have several dignitaries here with us today that I'd like to recognize. Please forgive me if I forget anyone and hold your applause to the end. From Gold Member of the University of Arizona, a contingent led by Carol Stewart, Julie Katzel, and Eric Smith. From Copper Member Pima Community College, a group led by Dolores Duran Serta and Brian Stewart. We're pleased to have Congressman Juan Siscomani with us today. And representing Pima County District 1 Supervisor Rex Scott, we have Kim Briggs. From the town of Oro Valley, we have the mayor, Joe Winfield, council members Steve Solomon, Joyce Jones Ivy, and Harry Mogreen II. We also have town manager Jeff Wilkins and Oro Valley Chief of Police, Kara Riley. From Diamond Member Golder Ranch Fire District, we have a contingent led by Vice Chair of the Governing Board, Wally Vetti. Thank you for being here today. Let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to honor a group of volunteers who are absolutely indispensable to the smooth running of our chamber. We owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to our chamber ambassadors whose efforts and dedication make our mission possible. If you are a chamber ambassador, please stand so that we may extend our heartfelt gratitude to your hard work and commitment. <laughs> chamber ambassadors, I know you're here. Last month, we hosted a cocktail reception to honor our high-level members. As a membership organization, high-level members are an integral component to ensuring we're able to provide the best programming, education, outreach, and advocacy for all of our members. They are true mission supporters and want to see our business community thrive. Without these businesses and their commitment to our organization, we simply couldn't do what we do. Thank you to the following businesses. Our platinum members, El Conquistador Tucson, a Hilton Resort, and Tucson Media Partners, which you know as the Arizona Daily Star. Our gold members, Acacia IT, Desert Hospitality Management, the University of Arizona Veterinary Medicine and Center for Innovation. Our diamond members, Golder Ranch Fire District, Hughes Federal Credit Union, Pima Federal Credit Union, Roche Tissue Diagnostics, and Southwest Heritage Bank. Our silver members, Bayer, Chase Building Team, Comcast, Keyhorn Law Financial, Northwest Healthcare Oro Valley Hospital, 1AZ Credit Union, Splendido at Rancho Vistoso, The Post Workspaces, Tohono Chul Gardens Gallery and Bistro, Tucson Electric Power, Tucson Federal Credit Union, Tucson Local Media, the Valley Gold Team at Long Realty, Visiting Angels, Wafad Bank, and Wendy Wise State Farm. Our Copper members, America First Credit Union, Casa de la Luz, Desert Diamond Casinos and Entertainment, The Diamond Store, Encompass Health, FC Tucson, 
Good News Communications, Hamstra Heating and Cooling, La Posada at Push Ridge, Nature Med, Occam's Advisory Group, Picture Ox Cooling, Heating and Plumbing, Pima Community College, Soul Physical Therapy, Sonora Behavioral Health, Southwest Grounds, Swan Pilates, the Tucson Roadrunners Hockey Club, Vantage West Credit Union, and the Watermark, Watermark at Oro Valley. Thank you, high-level members. I'd now like to take a moment to hear from our presenting sponsor and Diamond member of our chamber, Pima Federal Credit Union. This institution has been serving our community for over 70 years and is dedicated to providing financial services that prioritize members' needs. With a strong commitment to financial education, community involvement, and exceptional service, Pima Federal continues to be a pillar of support for local businesses and residents. With us to say a few words is PFCU's Chief Executive Officer and past chair of our Board, Director, board of Directors, Eric Renault. You work hard for your money. Isn't it time it works hard for you? At Pima Federal Credit Union, we offer market-leading rates on term share certificates, money market accounts, and our dividend-earning checking account. Open a 12-month term share certificate with as little as $250 and earn 4.5% APY. Bigger deposits mean bigger returns. So don't wait. Lock in this great rate and elevate your savings power with Pima Federal Credit Union. Smart. Simple. Personal. Learn more at PimaFederal.org. All right. Thank you for that. Um, well, the, uh, I'm supposed to welcome you. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. It's uh, awesome. To, it's an uh, incredible pleasure to be here. Just so grateful to the chamber and its work through the years to be a part of it. Um, the value that they provide to the business communities, our businesses and our community is critical. If you're not a member, I would seriously consider learning how to become a member and see how you can help make an impact in the community too. So a little bit, um, a little bit about Pima Federal Credit Union. Um, many of you have heard about us over and over again, right? Started in uh, 1951 with $84 uh, dollars from 16 school teachers in the M5 school district. Well, today we're a billion two institution, um, but I want to make a distinction on who we are and what we are and why we do what we do. We're a member-owned, not-for-profit financial cooperative. So our mission and purpose is to provide the best value to each and every one of our members. So that's our sole purpose and mission. And we need to do that in a responsible manner, of course. So obviously, yes, at the end of each year, we'll hope to share, earn a profit, because that builds our capital so we can continue to make a more of an impact in our communities. Um, we are a very proud member of the Oro Valley Chamber of Commerce. As we look to serve our mission deeper in our community, um, for years we provided spectacular consumer products, auto loans, home loans, personal loans, um, HELOCs, right, the gamut of consumer loans, consumer deposit products. Well, some of you have may have heard um, May of this year, we announced uh, the, we reached a definitive agreement with Republic Bank of Arizona, based in Phoenix, um, to acquire them. So it's a purchase and assumption agreement, um, but I really look at as a merger of complementary business models. We have a commercial lending program today, but it's limited. Um, the, with this acquisition, and subsequent merger of our assets and skills and product suite, we're gonna make a deeper impact to our business community. So we're very excited about that. So our products are so different. They do a deep commercial lending program. We don't, they don't have any consumer loan products. So it's, it's gonna be awesome for all parties. We've been growing a lot. Um, in the last seven years, we've doubled our assets. Uh, we're reaching out to more communities. And that's incredibly powerful and encouraging to us because that means we can do more in each of these communities. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. It's, uh, again, the Oro Valley Chamber. We're so privileged to be members. 
Thank you for attending, and let's have a great meeting. Thank you, Eric. As I mentioned, Eric has been serving as past chair on the board of directors this year. Our chamber is fortunate to have a board composed of dedicated volunteers who bring vision, commitment, and strategic guidance to everything we do. Their efforts are crucial in driving our mission and supporting our members. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce our retiring board chair, Jeremy Thompson of Cox Communications. Jeremy has been an outstanding leader helping to steer our chamber through a year of growth and success. Please join me in welcoming him to the stage. Good morning. In my six years serving on the chamber board, I have watched the chamber take what was already there before I arrived and build upon that success each and every year. Though it did not come without its challenges, um, economic uncertainty at times, that little thing called COVID that we all dealt with, and even a year or two ago, a fire in the chamber offices. I'm happy to report that despite all of those challenges, the Chamber is in a great position today. I truly do believe that the Chamber's success has been driven by making personal connections for its members and the community alike, that they have provided many, many collaboration opportunities as the one that we've experienced this morning and I believe that the Chamber strives each and every day to make the community we work, live, and play in that much stronger. I would encourage you to actively find a way to stay connected with this Chamber. It's a fantastic organization, and I will miss being on the board. I am so excited, though, to watch as a member of the Chamber of Commerce the success that the Chamber will see for many, many years to come. Kristen, her staff, and the entire board, I believe, deserve a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. That was very touching, and I'm sorry you left the stage before I could give you a hug, but <laughs> we appreciate all you have done this past year. This year, as Jeremy said, he is terming off the board, and we have four members that we are sad to see who are terming out of their positions. To assist me in thanking these members and to induct our new members, please welcome incoming board chair, Ron Arenas of Picture Rocks Cooling, Heating, and Plumbing. Thank you. Uh, I am Ron Arenas, the incoming board chair. During the past five years, I have had the honor and pleasure to serve on this board. During this time, we have cultivated relationships that ensure the success and accomplishments of this board. I'd like to personally thank all the outgoing board members for their time and dedication. From their example, we will strive to continue the successful culture of the Oro Valley Chamber Board. Thank you, Ron. As a token of our appreciation, we have lovely plaques created by Chamber Member Joe Bourne to commemorate their time on the board. So thank you to the following board members for your service and dedication to our Chamber. Denny Cousins of North Star Strategies, previously our Secretary Clerk. Please come forward as I call your name, Miss Denny. Jeremy Thompson of Cox Communications, previously our board chair. Applause 
Warwick Renault of Pima Federal Credit Union, previously our past chair. And Jack Talmadge of Oro Valley Country Club. Jack, are we here today? I'd also like to recognize and thank continuing board members, along with those who are just joining. On the screen, new board members' names are underlined. Board, as I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all are recognized. Our executive committee, Chair Ron Arenas of Picture Rocks Cooling, Heating, and Plumbing. Vice Chair, Susan Swan of Swan Pilates. Secretary, Zoe Bircham of Kinghorn Law Financial. Treasurer Mary Schultz of Schultz Financial Group, and our directors Bruce Barnett of Pima Federal Credit Union, Cody Barnhart of Oro Valley Hospital, Lisa Bayless of the Lisa Bayless team at Long Realty, Lydia Camarillo of Golder Ranch Fire District, Shelby Frankham of El Conquistador Tucson, a Hilton Resort, Renee McHouston of America First Credit Union, Maria Parham of Splendido at Rancho Vistoso, Don Pearson of Roche Tissue Diagnostics, James Piper of Piper Family Painting, Rick Price of The Views Golf, Emma Reyes of Republic Services, Brian Stewart of Pima Community College, Dan Wesson of The Post Workspaces, and our ex officio member, Paul Melcher, Community and Economic Development Director for the Town of Oro Valley. Let's give them a round of applause for their service. There are also several past board members in the audience with us today, including past chairs, Nancy Boyle of Splendido at Rancho Vistoso, Kathy Workman of Workman Insurance, and Greg Dernan, owner of Acacia IT. If you have served on our board for any amount of time, please stand so we can thank you for your service. Before we move into the much anticipated awards portion of our program, I'd like to invite Congressman Juan Siscomani to the stage. As a supporter of our local businesses and community efforts, Congressman Siscomani is here to extend his congratulations to our outgoing board members and award recipients. Please join me in welcoming him. Okay. Well, good, good morning, morning, everyone. Buenos dias. So thank you, Kristen, for the introduction. Thank you all, friends, uh, for being here as well. What, what an amazing event sold out. What an amazing place to have it as well. Uh, the Lopez family is a great, they're great friends. HSL is an amazing company here as well. But all the nonprofits here around uh, the community fair, I, I think I visited most, if not all of them, thanking you all for being here. But also thanking the whole audience for being here. Kristen, thank you for, for let me just at least congratulate uh, the winners here briefly, but also for your leadership in this amazing chamber. Ron, welcome to that position. You're gonna enjoy it. I know that because I come from the chamber world. I think you, you may know this, but I, I spent many years working at the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce in Tucson. So I understand all the work that it takes to put this event together. So all those at the registration table, I just walked by, waved and said, I know what you're going through right now. And so I want to thank you all for, for that, for all the work and, and the sponsors and the volunteers, the board members, uh, the ambassadors as well for the chamber, and of course all the members. You make all this, all this possible. It seems like it was just yesterday, but I think it was almost a, a, literally a year ago that we were cutting the ribbon on the, on the new office, right? It was on August 15th. I looked at my pictures to make sure that I had the date right. And it was almost a year ago to the date that we were cutting that ribbon that was there for that. Of course, any time the chamber gathers, it's a his borderline party, and I get it. So I, I'm always happy to show up and, and offer the support there. Uh, and offer for all of you as well, just thank you for being here. Thank you for the membership in the chamber. Thanks for what you do. 
Chambers are extremely important to our community, especially communities like this one that are so close and, and the support for our small business community and large businesses too, there's a place for everyone, is extremely important. I'll just reiterate my commitment to our community here, and I work with the mayor. I wanna give him a shout out as well. I'm not sure where he's sitting. Mayor Winfield, thank you so much. Uh, we, we've been working together since I came into office on bringing more resources back to, uh, to our community here. I know that Oro Valley, we love our bridges, and uh, we're gonna continue to, to, uh, to uh, work on that. Also, you may know that I coach a flag football league in Oro Valley, not far from here in Naranja, uh, and under the lights. I have six kids, so I've been coaching for a while, and guess what, I still have a while to go on the coaching spectrum. So uh, I, I love the, what do you do. We also are there for the, for the grand opening and the ribbon cutting of the new park there as well with the bike and everything. So, I mean, there's so much going on in this vibrant community that all of you play a key role in that, so I wanna thank you for that. And to the awardees today, Congratulations, felicidades. The, the, the work that you're gonna be recognized for here today and that, that some of you have already been recognized for that, for that work uh, doesn't go unnoticed. And uh, it's always nice to be recognized for that, but I love chambers like this from the communities that go above and beyond to actually go and say your name in front of your family and give you that uh, award and certificate. Uh, we've included from my office a certificate of appreciation, congressional certificate of appreciation uh, for all those that are getting the awards here today as well. So thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you to all the first responders that I see in the audience as well. Thank you to the business owners. You're the ones that, you know, that, that hit it every single day hard. I know that because I worked with all of you when I was with the chamber. And I always say that the government does not create jobs. Businesses create the jobs. The government creates an environment where you all go and create those jobs. So thanks for doing that. Thank you for hiring so many people in our community and the awards here recognized today are well deserved. Thanks everyone, have a great, great day. Thank you, Congressman. And again, thank you for bringing those congressional certificates for our award winners and outgoing board members. And now, the awards. Each year, you nominate businesses and individuals for recognition in the categories of small, mid-size, large, and nonprofit businesses, community leaders, and legacy awards. A panel of volunteers evaluates the field, narrows it down to finalists, and then selects that year's award recipients. We don't call them best because that's subjective. We do label them outstanding because each of these businesses and individuals stands out and deserves our gratitude and congratulations, whether they win an award or not. So since you've heard from me plenty already today, our Events and Communications Director McKenna Markley and Operations Director Leah Noring will be helping announce the awards. Good morning. These are the nominees for Outstanding Small Business. Please stand and remain standing when I call your name. Acacia IT, Chipopin Cafe, Just Kebab, Nautical Bowls, Aura Valley Aesthetics, Stax Book Club, and Swan Pilates. Thank you. Please be seated. Acacia IT, our finalists are Acacia IT. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, they have been a steadfast supporter of businesses throughout Southern Arizona, providing invaluable assistance with cybersecurity and day-to-day -day computer issues. Acacia IT also actively supports numerous charitable organizations and fundraisers. They play a vital role in enhancing the security and efficiency of businesses in our region. Nautical Bowls offers a fantastic selection of products tailored to the needs of the local community. Moreover, owners Jacob and Brianna are wonderful individuals who bring joy to every interaction. Their passion and enthusiasm are evident in their daily work and through their dedicated team. Stacks Book Club has brought immeasurable value to Aura Valley in just one year of operation. They have created a space of belonging that encourages many to drive from areas outside of Aura Valley to be patrons of Stacks. By partnering with other local businesses, they are bringing valuable clients that boost the local economy and show deep care for our community. And the recipient is Stacks Book Club. 
Things come for me to accept your award. On behalf of Lizzie and myself, we just want to say thank you to the Chamber for all of the amazing support that we've received over this first year, uh, to the entire community for embracing us so deeply and wholly, uh, to all of the other nominees and finalists, uh, congratulations. We are so honored to be among this group of outstanding businesses. Uh, we have so many people to thank. Uh, I did that a couple weeks ago, so I won't do that again at our uh, one year anniversary. We're really excited for, for what year one brought us and really excited for what is to come for Stacks Book Club. So. We hope to see you all soon if you're a small business or a business of any size and you want to partner with us in any way, uh, our door is always open. We're always open to collaboration. Thank you. These are your nominees for Outstanding Mid-Size Business. Please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Arizona Ice and Water, Better Business Bureau of Southern Arizona, Uru Auto, Senior Home Care of Tucson, and Spawell. Thank you. Please be seated. Our finalists are Uru Auto. Recently celebrated 10 years of service in Oro Valley, with multiple locations now serving clients across Tucson, their roots remain planted in the Oro Valley community. Uru Auto's active participation in the community reflects their ongoing dedication to excellence and service. Senior Home Care of Tucson has become a cornerstone in our community for providing excellent home care services with a focus on compassionate and personalized care. Senior Home Care supports individuals and families throughout Oro Valley. They are known for their high quality of care, their customer satisfaction, and supportive and inclusive work environment. Spa Well is a remarkable addition to the El Conquistador Tucson, offering a unique state of relaxation that helps guests recenter and rejuvenate. There's nothing like Spa Well in Oro Valley. Their outstanding service, top-notch amenities, and serene environment truly make them a special business. And the recipient is Uru Auto. Please come up to accept your award. Hi, everyone. Um, you'll have to excuse my breathiness. It's a combination of two things. I'm a nervous public speaker, and I am six months pregnant. So <laughs> we're just surviving over here. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to the Oro Valley Chamber. They've always been a huge part of our <clears throat> success over the years. Um, as they said, we celebrated 10 years this year, so we're really excited about that. And um, I'll just keep this brief. Um, if you d aren't familiar with us, we provide automotive repair and maintenance um, here in, excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> here in Oro Valley and then across Tucson and also in Phoenix now. Um, we love being a part of Oro Valley and we'll always consider this our headquarters and our home base um, no matter how much we grow. Um, I would be remiss to uh, not share that now that it's public uh, as of this morning. We made the Inc. 5000, um, <clears throat> excuse me, fastest growing companies in America, so we're very excited about that. Um, and also, I'll just say uh, on behalf of our whole team, we couldn't do what we do without all of the amazing team members we have. If you've ever been to one of our shops, you've interacted with a shop manager or a technician, and they're all wonderful people. And um, I'll also say, uh, Jeff Artsy, our CEO, uh, regrets that he could not be here today, but he would um, would want to say thank you as well. So thank you so much. The 
these are the nominees for Outstanding Large Business. Again, please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Hughes Federal Credit Union, KE&G Construction, and Aura Valley Hospital. Thank you, you may be seated. All three nominees are finalists. Hughes Federal Credit Union has proudly served the residents of Pima County for more than seven decades. Known for their dedication to supporting nonprofits and events, Hughes' focus on community involvement underscores their commitment to making a positive impact on those they serve. KENG Construction stands as a beacon of excellence in the industry. They prioritize their employees like no other. Their employee stock ownership plan, which has earned them regional acclaim, reflects their commitment to fostering a workplace where every individual feels valued and empowered. Aura Valley Hospital has continuously exceeded expectations in delivering exceptional healthcare services. Through their state-of-the-art facilities, highly skilled med medical professionals, and patient-centered approach, Aura Valley Hospital has become a cornerstone of the community, providing vital care and support to individuals and families in time of need. And the recipient is Aura Valley Hospital. Please come forward to accept your award. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. My name is Cody Barnard. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer at Oro Valley Hospital. Uh, this award is not only a testament and the hard work and dedication of our incredible team, but also a reflection of the unwavering support and trust of our community. First and foremost, I wanna give, express my heartfelt gratitude to the Oro Valley Chamber of Commerce, and I know we haven't clapped enough yet, so let's give them another one. It is truly a privilege to be among so many outstanding businesses here that contribute to the vitality and success of our community. At Oro Valley Hospital, our purpose is to help people get well and live healthier. This award is a celebration of our nearly 20 years since Oro Valley has welcomed us into this community. My deepest thanks goes to our exceptional staff, um, the medical professionals, some who have joined us here today, for your passion and expertise that you provide to us each and every day. More specifically, Table 21, all of the Oro Valley um, employees that I brought with me. I wish I could have brought more. And to the Oro Valley community, we are profoundly grateful for your ongoing support and trust in us. Your partnership with us strengthens, strengthens our ability to meet the healthcare needs of this vibrant community. We are proud to be such a part of a supportive and engaged community. Thank you once again for this incredible honor. Much appreciated. It is a privilege to, privilege to serve this community. We look forward to many more years of partnership and progress. Let's keep moving forward together. Thank you. Nonprofit still has my heart, so of course this is my favorite category. These are the nominees for Outstanding Nonprofit. Please stand when I call your name and remain standing so we can give you an applause. Arizona Heroes Memorial, Bayada Home Healthcare, Friends of Push Ridge Golf, Hughes Federal Credit Union, Interfaith Community Services, Life Beyond the Books, Oro Valley Historical Society, PMHDC Southwest Medical Aid, Reach for the Stars, Rockin' for Heroes, Startup Tucson, TMC Hospice, and United Way of Tucson. Thank you. Your finalists are Bayada Home Healthcare has been helping seniors age and heal safe for almost 30 years in the Oro Valley area and almost 50 years nationwide. They cover the continuum of care with private caregiving services, skilled home health with RN therapy, as well as hospice care to support patients and families at the end of life. Interfaith Community Services. This year, many in our community faced hardship but Interfaith Community Services, or ICS, was there to help. 
ICS provides wraparound services that guide individuals from crisis to self-sufficiency. Last year, ICS served over 60,000 people, distributed $2.38 million in financial assistance, and 2.3 million pounds of food. Startup Tucson has grown into a pillar of the region with alumni bringing in over $44 million of investment and grew over 400 new jobs in their area since found, in the area since their founding. They work closely with the town of Oro Valley, hosting workshops centered specifically to the town. The organization supported nearly 100 current and aspiring business owners to att who attended these sessions. And the recipient is Interfaith Community Services. Well, thank you very much. I'm out of breath because I'm just out of shape. <laughs> so, I would like to thank the Chamber uh, for this honor. And really, um, I'm blessed. I'm Tom McKinney, the CEO of Interfaith Community Services, and we've been around almost 40 years. And I would say everybody around the room, all the nonprofits we work with are outstanding and serve the community in partnership. And you can't really do that without partnership. But I really accept this award on behalf of the 700 plus volunteers that really served those 60,000 people because that our organization could not survive without them and many of you are in the room. So thank you so much for this honor. I will share it with all 700 plus volunteers. Oh. Photo opportunity moment, sorry, gotta make sure we get that. Sorry. Gotta lock it down. I work the social media, I have to have the photos. Gotta have the content always. These are the nominees for Outstanding Community Leader. Please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Fernanda Almeida, Contact One Answering Services. Irene Coppola, Federal Business Bureau of Southern Arizona. Margie Adler, Town of Oro Valley, Center for Economic Development. And Renee Dieter of Cabby. Thank you, you may be seated. Our finalists are Fernanda Almeida. For the past decade, Fernanda has exemplified dedication and excellence as an integral part of Contact One. Fernanda's unwavering commitment and hard work in the community has led to pivotal success within the company. Her warm and friendly personality perfectly embodies the spirit of the chamber. Margie Adler is widely recognized as the face of small business in Aura Valley. Her influence touches every new business that emerges in the community, and many owe their initial success to her tireless efforts. Beyond her professional contributions, Margie serves as an Aura Valley Chamber Ambassador. Renee Dieter excels as a cabby saleswoman and leverages her business to inspire confidence in the women of Aura Valley. Her impact extends beyond her business ventures as Renee is deeply involved in charitable work. As the chair of the ambassador program for the Oro Valley Chamber, Renee has played a crucial role in helping numerous local businesses. And the recipient is Renee Dieter. Please come forward to accept your award. Thank you so much. I was tickled pink to even be nominated with these other fantastic ladies. So. Thank you so much for that. Um, as I was reflecting on what a community leader means last night, I came up with two things. They are not solutions, they're just things. Um, one is that I have been, I have gotten in trouble my entire life for being bossy and for being um, outspoken. And so this is definitely a step up. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, the second one is that a leader never stands alone. Um, they're not there to stand out, they're there to bring people together. And I feel like we all do that. This is what the chamber's about, this is what um, this, this award ceremony is about, is, is connecting. I get a real high from connecting people, and when a connection really works, and you know what I'm talking about, like when you introduce two people together and they just make it happen, it's like the biggest dopamine rush. So it's totally selfish. 
I imagine that um, bungee jumping is probably the same thing, but this is a lot safer. So, my words of wisdom to you are more connecting, less bungee jumping, and thank you so much. Thank you, Chamber. These are the nominees for the Legacy Award. Please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Bob Workman of Workman Insurance. Contact One Answering Services. Denise Alvarez, Better Business Bureau of Southern Arizona. Golden Goose Thrift Shop. Golder Ranch Fire District. Hughes Federal Credit Union. Thank you. Our finalists are Bob Workman, nominated for the birth of the Oro Valley State of the Town. This event has been a positive meeting of community, Oro Valley dignitaries, mayors, and council members from surrounding areas and state officials for 25 years. It has grown into the largest and most successful event for the Oro Valley Chamber. Golden Goose Thrift Shop. Over the last 20 years, with the help of 400 volunteers, the Goose has raised $20 million, equally benefiting Impact of Southern Arizona and Saddlebrook Community Outreach. These charities serve residents across three counties and support programs like food banks, clothing banks, scholarships, senior services, and holiday distributions. Golder Ranch Fire District has a strong community to their community's safe, strong commitment to their community's safety and well-being. Their legacy is built on the foundation of unwavering service, courage, and innovation in firefighting and emergency response. The Golder Ranch Fire District continues to leave a lasting mark on the region, setting a standard of excellence for future generations of first responders. And the recipient is Golden Goose Thrift Shop. Oh, I guess I get to start. My name is Larry Clark. I'm a volunteer at the Goose. I've been volunteering for, what, 15 years or something? In a variety of different capacities. Uh, and we just can't thank you enough for this award, for the entire, every, all the volunteers, everybody that works there, uh, it's just almost unbelievable. Uh, I'm humbled with the stress up here to do with this, but uh, I find it interesting that uh, the Goose wins the Legacy Award, or didn't win it, who were given the Legacy Award. Uh, when you consider the legacy of the Golden Goose, uh, let me just give you a brief sketch I don't know all the dates, I don't know if anybody knows all the dates, but more than 20 years ago, I'll say 23, 24, a group of ladies and women in uh, Saddlebrook got together trying to figure out how could we raise more money for our, our charities? And they came upon the idea of getting donated clothes and selling clothing. Okay, good idea. Uh, well, that turned into a sort of a rummage sale. Uh, people were fell into it and they started donating everything they had in the house uh, to help. Well, then it was in a garage, what do you do? Uh, so the uh, developer at uh, Saddlebrook gave them uh, one of the empty office spaces in the Saddlebrook uh, shopping mill. And that's where they started. And uh, that didn't last too long. Somebody had to say, you know, maybe we should start a thrift shop. So they rented a space, one storefront in a little mall in Oro Valley, or in Catalina. And uh, that lasted, how long did that last? A year? To, to, no, to one storefront. They outgrew that. And soon they were in two storefronts, three storefronts, four, that's called five storefronts. And uh, uh, this leads me to this lady, uh, Stephanie Erdialis, who's been our General manager extraordinaire for you said 20 years now. Uh, well, they must have decided someplace along the way that this has become a business. We need, we need somebody to run this thing. Uh, and because uh, we're just a bunch of volunteers that were trying to do it. So they uh, rented the storefront 
and you can't have a storefront without putting some sort of a name or something up there so people know who you are. And they, I think, prophetically came up with the Golden Goose Thrift Shop. Uh, and equally brilliant, I think, was the logo that they came up with. You've probably seen it a hundred times, a little oval with the golden goose in it. But did you ever notice the two golden eggs with it, symbolizing the two organizations that started the whole golden goose? So anyway, uh, so Stephanie, they hired Stephanie, uh, which uh, I think was the godsend of the whole thing. Uh, and in my beliefs, and I think a lot of people would share it, uh, she's been the driving force. One store for us, 28,000 square foot building that we're living for 20 million dollars. Yeah, just I'm astounded by it. Uh, so, Stephanie, thank you. Well, uh, thank you so much. Um, this is such a meaningful award for all of us at the Goose, and it's a great honor. Thank you. Um, I dedicate this to those 400 plus volunteers who really are the ones who have created the magic um, that is the Goose all of these years. Um, it's amazing what people can do when they come together um, with a common goal uh, to help others. And I am so proud of the contributions that we've been able to make to enhance and enrich the lives of so many people in our community. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> I wish you had it. Come to the base here. Please do. Thank you. Last year, we introduced a new award to our annual meeting, the Lifetime Chamber Member. This award is bestowed upon those who have provided years of dedication and service to your chamber. To announce the recipient of this year's award, please welcome last year's recipient, Dave Perry. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you. I interrupted a photo shoot over there. That's why it took me a second to get up here. And by the way, if you want to see something frightening, come look at the monitor here right now that has my mug on it. Oh my goodness gracious. So, uh, I'm Dave Perry. Used to run the chamber, retired a year and a half now and enjoying myself greatly. Um, it's my pleasure to do something right now. We are stronger when we know our roots, when we know about our collective journeys and traditions, and when we celebrate those who've led us to this moment, we're honoring two of those people today. Bob and Kathy Workman have been in business locally for a half century, proud to live in Oro Valley 30 years now. Workman Insurance Investments was quick to join when our chamber was formed in 1992. I got invited to come to a meeting, and I did, Bob said, and I've been coming to meetings ever since. Kathy was the first chamber employee at its station on the north side of McGee Road, rural Metro Fire, cleaned out a closet and let us put a desk and a chair in there, Kathy said. From that converted closet, she helped build the chamber and wrote the first newsletters. You've heard about State of the Town. Bob volunteered at Tucson Metro Chamber events and one day he said, after, after a couple of years it dawned on me, I said, why am I doing this down here? We need something in Oro Valley. He talked to Jerry Bustamante, president and CEO of the chamber at that time, Mayor Paul Loomis. They quickly embraced the idea. Bob is the founder and longtime MC of State of the Town. 
which comes to you on the October 31st for the 23rd time, Oral Valley and our Chamber's signature event. Both Bob and Kathy served on the Chamber Board. As Board Chair 10 years ago now, Kathy made it her mission to create the Oral Valley Chamber Foundation. And with your, a really great gift that we received several years ago, as well as your continued support, we have expanded our scholarship and charitable giving, and Kathy was foundational to that effort. His wife proudly calls Bob a great guy, a hard worker, and very charitable. To that point, Bob is a proud alumna of Michigan State University. The workmen's have supported scholarships at MSU for many years, and he told me today that he's one of 600 distinguished alumna from Michigan State University. Go Spartans, Bob. Um, Bob said to me, make Kathy sound great because she is. He called her a loving wife and a wonderful mother. Kathy and Bob have two children, BJ and Stephanie, and four grandchildren, Campbell, Kennedy, Maverick, and Henley. This December, the workmen who love to travel are celebrating their 50th anniversary with a cruise on the Panama Canal. Workman Insurance and Investments was your chamber's outstanding small business in 2013. Kathy says the Workman's Chamber experiences have, have, have absolutely resulted in great contacts, business, and relationships. In turn, Bob and Kathy, we're here to say thank you for all you've done for the Chamber, and it's my honor to recognize you as Chamber Lifetime members. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathy and Bob Workman. Where are you? Over here. Thank you so very much. This is a total surprise to me. You know, I didn't know I was nominated also for the uh, other award, and so I had a little talk, and I, I guess I'm able to do it now. I, uh, I, I'm just very appreciative, and Kathy is for this, oh, for this award. <laughs> and uh, I'm very honored and very humbled. Um, you know, I, I, I there's been so many great people uh, who have been involved with the chamber and have contributed so much to our community. If you look at your program under the Legacy Award, you'll find people going back to 2005, and well, I knew most of them, and so I've been around here a long time. So they've done so much for us. And, um, you know, Kathy and I, uh, it's been a part of our lives for over 30 years. Um, I kind of got involved with the chamber from day one. If they passed out membership numbers, I'd probably be number three or four or something. And uh, it, we've just been a part of it all our lives. And I'm sure Kathy would like to say a little something here too. Come on. Okay. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'm a little bit speechless. And for those of you who know me, you know that's very rare. <laughs> um, so many memories, and I have to tell you, this is a complete surprise to me, and I'm very, very appreciative. Um, I have so many memories, and we can talk very briefly about the stairs that have handles on them, because the, one of the first jobs that I had and had to come up to the stage, I uh, missed the step because it didn't have a handle, and Captain Randy, a uh, car, crawled fireman style on the floor so no one would see him and took my ankle out of the steps so that it wasn't broke but it wasn't broken it was just bruised <laughs> he's rubbing my ankle under the table <laughs> so, 
Sarah, who was on stage at the time, put a mother death grip on me, and I had bruises on my arm for like a week. So that was my introduction as the chair of the chamber. Um, so many things. I am so grateful. I cannot tell you the great from my heart. And I see Greg, and Greg and I were just talking about the closet at Rural Metro that they cleaned out for us. And, one f and f a firefighter made a desk so that I could have a desk to work at. And that's how the chamber started. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate all of the thoughtfulness that went into, into this award. Complete surprise to me. Thank you. Thank you. Bob and Kathy, with this prestigious honor comes some benefits. You are welcome to attend any chamber event free of charge, even the big ones, and you will always have a courtesy listing as a member of our chamber. We very much appreciate all you've done and continue to do for the chamber. Congratulations to all of our phenomenal winners. Let's give them another round of applause. Earlier in the program, I thanked a lot of people, but I haven't yet thanked the people who are here day in, day out. They see the good, the bad, bad and the ugly. They celebrate your successes with you, and when they see members struggling, they do their best to try and help, and that's our staff. We have today all of our staff members with us, so I'd like to thank you, our member, I would like to thank our member engagement director, Joni Bates. Joni. Wave your hand. <laughs> Operations Director Leah Noring. <laughs> Events and Communications Director McKenna Markley. <laughs> and rounding out eight months now as our Business Development Director is Leah Bayhan. <laughs> Last year at this event, as Juan alluded to, um, I stood before you and made jokes about burning down the chamber in my first year of leadership. <laughs> this year, I can confidently say there have been no fires, literally or figuratively, and your chamber is stronger than ever. We've been in our new building for just over a year now, and you, if you haven't seen it yet, please stop by sometime. We do have a conference room and a co-working space that is free for any of our members to use as long as you let us know ahead of time. To help grow your networks and be a source of continuing education, we're still offering our monthly evening mixers, perk before works, wisdom Wednesdays, and of course, major events like this. But a new addition this year has been added to our events calendar, and that is our Gen Z committee, which is led by McKenna. We're thrilled to be supporting this de demographic, and if you have any employees or friends who fit into that demographic, I encourage you um, to sign them up and get them involved in that committee. This year is a special year as we are celebrating 50 years of Oro Valley. To celebrate 50 years of Oro Valley, you may be familiar with our 50 Businesses for 50 Years program, where we've been highlighting 50 businesses throughout the year um, and we are a, a little over halfway through. At each business that's highlighted, we have a raffle box where you'll be entered to win prizes not only at that business, but a grand prize from your chamber, which includes a $25 gift card to Tucson Cactus and Koi, three private sessions to Swan Pilates, a $25 gift card to Noble Hops, a family pass to Tohono Chul Gardens Gallery and Bistro, a one night stay with Breakfast for Two here at El Conquistador Tucson and Hilton Resort. And the best part of all is a beautiful, attractive Stanley Cup lookalike that with your chamber logo on it. So make sure you um, visit these businesses and enter to win for those wonderful prizes. Um, the remainder of this week, the raffle boxes are at The Cottage and Le Chevu Salon. So make sure you enter to win. 
We are thrilled to be supporting these businesses to celebrate the town's 50th. And speaking of the town's 50th, our next major event is State of the Town coming up on October 31st. So the reason I'm telling you that is so you can start planning your costumes. We will have a costume contest. We will have lots of fun goodies. It's going to be the event of the year, not only because it's the town's 50th and we're so excited to hear from Mayor Joe Winfield about what's happening and what we can expect, um, but it's gonna be fun. Like Juan said, it's gonna be a party. So with that, I will let you all continue on your wonderful days. Thank you so much for giving us your morning, giving us your time and attention. I hope you made a lot of connections. Have a wonderful rest of your day.